They've lost everything that made their job special. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I thought we'd have a look at a Reddit post that's doing the rounds about, well, someone in the game development field who really feels like they've lost their love of their job because AI is replacing one of the fun parts of it. Let's check this out. Now, I've recently looked at, well, I did a video about AI and trying to play with it for architectural applications. And it's been used in the architectural field for some time, everyone. You know, it's it's been used for some time or experimented with generative design. I looked at using, well, I looked at using animation software to generate an architectural form as part of my final design thesis. And I don't think it's going to replace my entire profession anytime soon. I think it's going to just become another kit of tools that we use. It'll become part of your design process. You may get it, use it to generate a whole series of options or optimize some things or test some ideas. I can see it hopefully improving the efficiency of those of us working in the profession. But we'll have to see, guys. We'll have to see. Um, hopefully, it'll just be a tool. Now, let, let's look at this one because this is pretty sad. This, this is a pretty sad post. So, I lost everything that made me love my job through mid-journey overnight. I'm employed as a 3D artist in a small games company of 10 people. Our art team is two people and we make 3D models just to render them and get 2D sprites for the engine, which are more easy to handle than 3D. We are making mobile games. So it's a 10-person a small team, a small business. Yeah, that could be a nice place to work. You know? And I this is a I remember what was it? Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's how all of these sprites were made in that game back in the day. And I think this came from a Reddit uh, post on the the Blender the Blender Reddit forum, which is a great program by the way. My job is different now since Mid Journey version 5 came out last week. I'm not an artist anymore nor a 3D artist. Right now, all I do is prompting, photoshopping, and implementing good-looking pictures. The reason I went to be a 3D artist in the first place is gone. I wanted to create form in 3D space, sculpt and create, with my own creativity, with my own hands. Maybe they need to get a trade. Get out there and do that. It came overnight for me. I had no choice and my boss also had no choice. I am now able to create, rig, and animate a character that's spit it out from mid-journey in two to three days. Before, it took us several weeks in 3D. So you go from weeks to days. This is showing you the exponential change in this technological leap, everyone. So this is, it's going to be interesting to see this application of this well, the language, I mean, is it artificial intelligence? It's not self-aware, it's not sentient. It, it's, it's statistically, um, well, it's using all the data that's been put on the internet, isn't it, and harvesting it. My understanding is there's legal battles against that now too, to see if that's legal. But anyway, you've gone from weeks to days, so it would be insane not to adopt this technology. The difference is, I care, he does not. Well, no, the boss cares. He cares about delivering and keeping enough money coming in to keep the business afloat. Other, other practices, other firms, game dev companies, are going to be churning stuff out much quicker at a fraction of the time so they'll be able to win clients cheaper. For my boss, it's just a huge time and money saver. Well, yeah, that's, that's what it is. I don't want to make art that is the result of scraped internet content from artists that were not asked. However, it's hard to see. It's hard to see. Results are better than my work. So it's better than he's, he's produced or she's produced. I'm angry. My 3D colleague is completely fine with it. He prompts all day, shows and gets praise. The thing is, we both were not at the same level quality-wise. My work was always a tad better in shape and texture rendering. I always was sure I would, wouldn't lose my job because I produce slightly better quality. A little, little bit of arrogance coming through there, isn't there? This advantage is gone, and so is my hopes of using my own creative energy to create. Getting a job in the game industry is already hard, 
but leaving a company with a nice team because AI took my job feels very dystopian. I doubt it would be better in a different company also. I'm between grief and anger. And I'm sorry for using your art, fellow artists. And let's jump over here. And I mean, this I've got the comments on the other screen here. We'll bring this up and we can see it's a pretty popular post here. Let's uh, zoom in. What are, what are people saying here? So that's grim. And it's just the tip of the iceberg. We've barely scratched the surface of machine learning, let alone a genuine AI. In a society that judges a person's worth purely on their economic contributions, it's easily, it's going to be a disaster. No, I mean, there's, there's a lot of drama queens out there, and you'll always find this on Reddit and everything in the news. People will just play the drama up. It's just a tool that you're going to use. You're going to have to adapt to it. I mean, people... <laughs> People have been saying this every time there's been a technological loop, leap. But you've got a 10x improvement in your output, pretty much. Can you blame them? So, uh, what else? I work in recruitment and writing isn't my strong suit. Chat GTP poops out perfectly fine pieces of text. Add some flavor rather than reinventing the wheel. It's really made my job significantly easier. Well, what does that tell you about recruitment? If all you, I mean, this is the thing. Chat GTP is great. I use it to write my uh, YouTube tags and those type of things. But if, all, if your job can pretty much be done by chat GPT, I'd be really worried about that if that's all that you're doing. And I mean, that's recruiters. So um, let's have a look what else. I'm sure as a 3D artist, you still have, uh, you have a long way to go. It's too bad that the studio you currently work for has found a way to um, change innovation for procedural and that's just the workflow of a singular or similar pro projects. The majority of 3D studios still rely on modeling, UV texturing. Yeah, well, they've figured out a better way. Don't lose hope. They're trying to prop them up. I disagree. There's still very strong advancements for AI turning photos into 3D models or 3D models from prompts. Also now, that many AIs get an API that are already applications for Blender where you can just tell them what you want and it does it for you. I mean, there you, you have it. I mean, here's the thing. You're still going to be able, you still need to have the skills to take what you've been given from these programs to turn them into something useful. What else are people saying here? I mean, this is a 3D modeling. You should realize that advancements in AI is occurring at an unprecedented pace. The new versions are being released in a matter of months rather than years. Um, training models, not really much here, is it? What's this? Um, you need to scrape, not in a legal way, all Sketchfab assets to build quality data sets. This has already been done. Okay, so they're getting all Sketchfab. Introducing Objaverse, a massive open data set of text paired 3D objects, nearly 1 million annotated 3D objects to pave the way to build incredibly large scale 3D generative models. I'll have to, I'll have to look at that actually. I will have to look, I mean, look at all that. Objectiveverse. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that and just email that to myself to remind me to look at that when I get back. So, well, let's have a talk about this one every. every so there we go. We've got well a shakeup in the game dev industry and 3D modeling, and at least this company here, where well opportunities are changing. Now they're using this technology to get a more efficient outcome and some of the best part of a job that someone enjoyed has sadly disappeared. You know, is this the old, they took my jobs from South Park? Perhaps it is. Uh, you just have to adapt with it. It's another tool that you have to use. I need to keep an eye on it for architectural applications. But until you can get a multivariant, well, you, until you can get an AI to, well, here's the point. When you feed in so much data to take account of a multivariant problem, uh, issue, pro, pro, problem, you're going to have to pretty much be programming it yourself and then you can generate a whole things, you know, a whole series of outcomes. I'm sure, it'll, I'm sure it'll happen. And people have been trying to do it for decades now. John Fraser has been working on it for years. I, and I've been reading PhD theses about it when I was studying at, at university. And they're up, there's, it's, being, it's being done in my profession already for town planning and large scale applications. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. You know, I need to jump into my generative design again and, and look into that a bit more. I mean, I'd be excited if it's a useful tool. I can see this being an add-on to what we already do. But this, what we're seeing here is someone who's got a highly specialized niche skill in a firm 
that's been replaced by this technology. Not the entire field. They've still got a job. They, they're just being more efficient. They're just disappointed because the fun part of the job is gone. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. And thank you to everyone who sent the kind messages. The family and I uh, seem to be better now from the terrible bout of gastro we had. It looks like it was a 24-hour thing. And it looks like it's doing the rounds from what I've heard. So watch out for that one, guys. As always, take care. Check out Heiser Bim and Heiser Does. And if you're a fan of the channel and enjoy the content I create here, you can support us on YouTube or Patreon. Use our referral links and buy our pocket squares or call us if you need an architect. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you all in the next episode of Heiser Says.